Me now from Gibraltar is the chairperson of the political group Defenders of Gibraltar, Anne-Marie Struggles, and from Madrid International Relations Analyst at the University of Madrid, Professor Alana Mosseri. Very good to see you both, and uh, let me start with you, Anne-Marie Struggles. Uh, as I say, you're one of the defenders of Gibraltar. Uh, if it came to taking up arms, as uh, Lord Howard might have been suggesting, uh, do you think it would come to that, or do you think, I mean, Lord Howard has gone too far here? I think that it's been very good that um, UK has actually come out so strong in defense of us. However, everybody would not want this to end in war. Um, and I think it's, there is no need for that. There is a time for dialogue. And, you know, we should dialogue. George Orr. Uh, Alana Mosseri, um, wh wh what's your reaction to that uh, tone struck by Lord Howard? Parallels with uh, British actions to retake the Falklands from Argentina? It's, it's been pretty unfortunate to hear this kind of sort of hysterical warmongering um, here, in, here in Madrid. It's been a bit surreal today. And, and I think it's also unfortunate because this is coming from former politicians, not from the actual government. But that message gets mixed with foreign audiences. And it's something that's really important to remember. These things, of course, get translated and sent out across the Spanish media and people hear it and are upset. It's, it's upsetting. And I, and I think it gives, us a, it gives us a really strong reminder of why the European Union was created in the first place, right? Was, was to become more prosperous together and, and to not have so much war with each other. And now, just days into Brexit, we're already hearing uh, warmongering kind of, kind of um, statements. It's, it's very disappointing. Yeah, well, well, I mean, it is all being damped down. Let, let's talk about the George Orr part of it, uh, Anne-Marie's struggles. Do you accept, though, that it may end up way further down the line, that Gibraltar may be a sticking point to an otherwise good deal for the United Kingdom as a whole, and uh, the Spanish may say we want joint sovereignty or something like that, and a British Prime Minister has to decide between uh, a good deal for the whole of the UK and the future of Gibraltar. I think that uh, our, our sovereignty, <clears throat> as you're saying, has nothing to do at all with the EU. That is something that the EU has no right to intervene and has no right to start using us as a pawn for negotiation. And I think that is what has gone wrong. UK should be uh, getting the best deal possible, and uh, Gibraltar is a part of that. Remember that we were, we, we are a special member of the EU, and we entered in '73, and Spain didn't enter till '83. So Gibraltar has to play a part in negotiations, um, and it has to be for the best for us, for our trade and our people. Remember that both Spain and Gibraltar have benefited from having an open frontier and from being in the EU. And, uh, you know, we have over 12,000 workers that come over the, the border to work here. And I think that uh, less war war and more dialogue without uh, putting pressure on Gibraltar, on our sovereignty and uh, or our nationality. I mean, EU has nothing to do at all. It, it's not up to them to decide anything about Gibraltar. And that's what has gone wrong. UK has been very sensitive to Spain. And when they have made the, the call to, to do the Brexit, they didn't include Gibraltar so as not to upset things. Because remember, Gibraltar is part of UK. So why right. now the EU has caused this division? Of course right. it's, ups it's upset us all. Uh, Alana Masseri, what's your assessment though of how strong a position the UK is in these negotiations when we've heard from all the politicians on all sides in the UK, Gibraltar will be fine, but it's all about the, the hand it holds in this poker game. Well, and that's the thing that I think is really unfortunate for the people of Gibraltar, um, because they're the ones who should be at the center of this debate. But what we're seeing is, is the UK and Spain, you know, from we've got these, these, these just horrible statements coming out of the UK. Um, as I understand it, um, Prime Minister May uh, included Scotland in that letter, but didn't include Gibraltar. It seemed like it was just a way to not include it. I'm not really sure what the intention was. Um, but certainly we want to see more negotiation. On the side of Spain, there's been some moral relativity going on with, well, now maybe we'll support Scotland if they want to join the EU or not, and that, that sort of thing. And, and so none of it's helping, because really when it comes down to it, it's, it's 
what is best for the people of Gibraltar. And we know that the people of Gibraltar in their hearts feel very close to the UK. That's, that's important. That needs to be recognized. And at the same time, they're a close neighbor of Spain. Um, and as Anne Maria was saying, there's been a lot of mm. business being done together. There's, there's a border that's shared. That's also very important. And, and yeah. so antagoniza, antagonizing Spain doesn't help anything. Um, it needs to be the UK and Spain and Gibraltar sitting down at the table and coming up with an agreement that works for everyone. Yeah, Anne-Marie struggles agreeing with that. But Anne-Marie struggles, let me put this to you. I mean, uh, Gibraltar, along with... Scotland, along with Northern Ireland, uh, voted quite strongly, Gibraltar also, to remain part of the EU. Now, Scotland and Northern Ireland have been told that uh, they have to leave with the rest of the UK come what may. Well, Gibraltar doesn't. If you accepted Spanish sovereignty, you could stay in the EU. No way. <laughs> That, that's that's what everybody's getting all uh, you know upset about. Gibraltar is not up for sale. Gibraltar is not up for negotiating. We are British. We want to continue British, and we will be forever British until there comes a time when people may choose otherwise. But I can tell you very strongly that Gibraltar wants to remain British, but we want to determine our own future. And we want to be a part of these negotiations because obviously we have the cross-border frontier and we want to be the ones to decide. Now, uh, we're not saying for, to have special um, agreements. What we're saying is take into account the following. Okay. We have a border that needs free movement. We have people who need to work. We have businesses on both sides that are, that are flourishing. We have a stable economy. The Andalusia has never been so flourished as it is now because right. of an open frontier. Message loud and clear. We'll uh, leave you to deal with that phone. We've come to an end anyway. Anne-Marie Struggles and Anna Masseri. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for your time. Very good to talk to you both. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Now then. Uh